Let's see what else is going on here. I recognize this guy. Hey, what's going on? The morning How you doing? Fantastic. It's How nice to see you again. Uh, 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 I'm doing. No, no, no. I just want to make sure I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Uh, we want to talk about tattoos. Tattoos. I figured that's what we're going to talk about with you. We've been talking about different things with different people. Is that a paintbrush? Yes. I've got artist brushes all around. Well, that's that's fantastic. Thank you. A little bit of tribal. Nice. Just to tie some things in. I love it. I love it because uh, when you decide that you're about something, and I'm not just saying you, but I'm saying if it's if 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 you're you know when you decide that you're about something, you understand I'm about this. Right. You know what I mean? And I I, I, I totally appreciate that. I got uh, here. Let me show you these ones. I got uh, Santiago's hands from the Old Man in the Sea. Right. And then I got the Marlin with the line in its mouth. Right. That's Ernest Hemingway, baby. That's what you're about. And you know what? If people, right. and it was Ernest Hemingway. It was, uh, it was Ernest Hemingway that, that helped me. Uh, you know when you're young and you feel alone, you don't feel like anybody understands you? Right. And then you find somebody when you either read him or you look at his paintings and you realize that there are people that, that are like you, that you're exactly. not so alone. Right. And that's why I continue to do what I do. Okay. For the, for the next people right. that might feel alone, right. I'm there to show them that they're not alone. Right. So what, what do you enjoy doing? I mean, like, I, uh, as a uh, painting? Painting. Painting's my life. Do you want to show us a couple of the paintings you've done? Why not? Excellent. Step in the world of Scoop Eye. Dr. Smith. Sorry, I, I quit okay. drinking it's around uh, Easter. Oh, so great. I'm busting with energy nowadays. Oh, good, yeah. I can't get it out of me. You're not so lethargic, right? No, not as lethargic so, at all. <laughs> now, what we have here are just... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's okay. We've got a series of... Just abstract paintings, and what I chose to do was just manipulate colors and textures and just create some movement and have fun and just get back to the business of art and enjoying, enjoying painting and movement with the medium. Now, uh, I, I remember just through, I never went to school for any of this stuff, right. so it's just through things that I've enjoyed and talking to other people who are painters, exactly. and the difference between... Uh, allowing brush strokes to remain, uh, allowing um, uh, inconsistencies of the paint, allowing chance and possibility right. to play a large role in the painting. Exactly. Would you say that, that you allow chance to play a large role in your painting, or is each one specific and detailed exactly how you want it to come out? Nope, it's not methodical at all. I just want it to remain loose and free, kind of like my lifestyle. Sure. You know, everything else in life is so regiment, regimented. You know, I just wanted to just let it go and see what happens i feel exactly the same way i've got a job right. you know if yeah. if i'm creating art and it's driving me nuts and i'm stressed out about it i've got a job already right. this is the thing that i'm good at and that i do uh, uh freely that just right. i allow to, to roll through me and see and that's the beauty of this is you know when you look around and you see this a lot of this is loose and free you know and hopefully the viewer can identify with that and just not worry about just being so stiff and tight. The, the, <laughs> the thing I enjoy the most about this is when you first look at it, right. uh, it only looks like there are a few colors present. Like when I first walked up and I looked at it, mm -hmm. you got a feeling of, uh, of uh, similarity. Like you felt like everything was kind of a reddish, like it gave a reddish hue when I first walked up. But as you look at it, uh, I mean, there is no, in my, in my opinion, it, like, I wouldn't say that there's a dominant color. Initially, you would say orange, right. but there's as much blue as there is orange. Exactly. Well, a lot of this is. Now, what you see here are mostly complementary colors throughout, and I wanted to blend them and play with them so that they were pretty balanced, but I didn't want one to overpower the other. That's all. I think you did a, a fantastic job. Thank you, my friend. Uh, have you always been, uh, uh, have you always painted uh, in abstract, is, would you consider this abstract expressionism? This would be. Or just no. abstract? Just abstract. Abstract. Because I'm not expressing much of anything. Sure. Have you always considered yourself to be an abstract painter? No, I work in all mediums. And I, this is new for me Excellent. here, as far as, you know, presenting this for the world to see. I've been holding back because I'm so busy worrying about what, what everyone else is thinking, sure. you know, and I'm sure. done with that now. I'm just letting it all hang out. <laughs> I don't think we can possibly end on a better note than that. Right. I hope you sell every goddamn piece here. Thank you, my friend. And, and I, hope that, I hope that if you continue uh, 
uh, feeling like making uh, uh, abstract pieces, you do. And okay. if you feel like making something else, I hope you do that. By all means. Thank you very much okay, for your time. <laughs> I appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon.